2030, WHO has estimated that we would be short of about 15 to 18 million healthcare workers required to provide universal healthcare coverage. We already see the need for our nurses to support education for nurses across the world. Nurses who respond to mission trips, they, they will just be there, show up, and as the trip concludes, that's a closure of their involvement. There were too many countries that we need to kind of help. This was really not sustainable on an individual level. So what does it take to transform clinical nursing to global nursing? My name is Anne and I'm an advanced practice nurse from KK Women's Insurance Hospital. I've been actively involved in supporting nursing education for nurses from Southeast Asia. When they came over to Singapore, of course, they have to stay away from their loved one. It uh, pushed me to think beyond what we've been doing to see if we can do the best of care instead of in Singapore, but back into their hometown. Hi, I'm Mai Mei. I'm the Director of Nursing from National Neuroscience Institute. I have always been very curious about how other healthcare system works um, and how the nurses function within the healthcare system. We kind of brought along the multidisciplinary team to share our knowledge on um, stroke care. The passion just started from there and it kind of made me want to do more and more. My name is Sabrina Ko. I'm a nurse educator by training. In the past, it would be just me being in China to deliver the faculty development course. We went through some interviews for me to appreciate how healthcare in China is operated so that I'm able to design roles in the simulation that's suitable for their local roles. There are a lot of nurses who look forward um, to this kind of opportunities. When we went there using our own time, uh, own resources and all, um, I think it wasn't really that sustainable. I hope that we are able to establish some platform for them. So in the past, when nurses respond to requests to contribute, they use their own annual leaves. But with the Centre for Global Nursing, everything is integrated. And we want to be sure that we account for the time of each individual's contributing to the course in their career path. I see that this is just a start of my involvement in global nursing and it will continue to grow over the year. Um, but of course, I will not be able to do things alone. The centre will help to set up the foundations and direction. That is something that is very important. Instead of each of us individually do a um, very uh, simple project, we can join force together. It's also create a path for new nurses to consider uh, if they would want to, uh, to start a new journey in their nursing career. CGN is an important pillar in the larger global health work and programs that Singhealth Duke NUS Global Health Institute is championing. As a director of uh, SDGHI, I very much look forward to working very closely with CGN to achieve its lofty aims. So I think everything starts with a simple step. You would see the difference you make, um, but of course you will not be able to do it alone. So always work together with other people, tap on the resources and come forward and join us. Nurses play such an important role in patients' life, not just locally, but also globally. So for nurses who are curious and interested at the same time, feel free to reach out to us and come and find out more about what Global Nursing is about.